guys, Tiffany here and welcome to Our Organic Life. So I actually have a really kind of cool video for you today. I had a company called Emerging Green reach out to me and asked if I would review, try out their soap making kit. Now I've always wanted to try my hand at making soap, I just never got the chance to learn it. And while I still don't quite know what I'm doing, I thought this would be really, really fun for an amateur like myself to make soap. It's a very fun, simple, thing that you can make for your family, for as gifts for friends and family. And like I said, I don't know how to make soap from scratch, so I did the next best thing, and I got some goat's milk soap base. So I ordered this goat's milk soap base through Amazon, but I love it because it's actually from a small business here in Florida called Our Earth's Secret. So I'm gonna give a shout out to them. I'll leave a link down below where you guys can go and purchase it. Even if you don't use the soap making kit, you wanna maybe just melt some soap and pour it into molds, that is also an option. But I thought you guys might like to hear that that is an option if you don't know how to mix your own soap, that is an option option. This is not sponsored. They are not paying me to make this video. They just sent me the product to try out. So I'm going to give you guys my honest review on how the product was. So I can also give the company some feedback on anything that I might change. So far it's looking really good. It came with a great set of instructions on how to assemble it and it's pretty straightforward to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all that came with it. Here is the main soap kit. It came with a great set of instructions on how to assemble it. Then you've got the cutter which I'm gonna actually walk through assembling that, and then the mold, which is, it's like a wooden frame, and then it came with a silicone mold. So, I mean, that would make sense. You wouldn't wanna just pour it straight into wood. It's gonna be really interesting to take out. So this way you can take this, the formed soap out to cut it. So we're gonna set this aside, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and start assembling this per the instructions. Pretty straightforward. So you've got these little pieces here. So this looks like there's this part, and then this looks like it's the main cutting wire. Oh, there's two. Interesting. Okay, so we'll, we'll learn this. We'll figure this out. I wonder if this is a spare. This might be a spare, which actually that's a really cool feature. It's good to have a spare. So first thing is we're gonna take this piece. So I didn't notice it, but on one end, so you've got two ends. You've got this part right here, and then you've got this part, and there's kind of a hole in it. So this, you're actually gonna put in just till you can see it. So when you can see, there's a little slot here. Okay, so when you can see the whole line up right in here, you're gonna feed this in so that it's taut. Then you're gonna take this part right here, so there's another hole right there. And you're gonna feed it in. There we go. Uh oh, I lost my hole. So you've got it fed into both sides. There we go. And then we're gonna feed this through the hole here. And not lose it. Don't lose it. Alright. So now that we got it on both sides, we're gonna feed this through and screw this into place. And that will tighten till you see the, st the string get nice and tight. There we go. And then there's our cutter. It's actually really cool how nicely that came together. All right, okay, so let's get started. So far, it's actually been really, really easy to assemble. I definitely like the instructions that it came with. They're very straightforward and clear. Uh, whereas I know sometimes I've gotten things through Amazon that there's either no instructions or the instructions can be difficult to follow. So that was first bonus. Good job, guys. I like the instructions very clear. I also like that it comes with a spare uh, wire if you ever need it. So maybe for some reason the wire snaps. I don't know if that happens, but it's good to have an, a spare. So we're gonna go ahead and get our soap base melted down. I got a makeshift uh, double boiler here now. I just took a glass mixing bowl and a large pot with some water underneath and I'm getting starting to get it up to boiling so it can be nice and hot. Uh, when you're making soap, I know you can use glass or st full stainless steel. If there's any aluminum in it, I think that is what you do not want. So as long as it's pure stainless steel 
or glass, I think you're good. The only thing that's not fun about making soap with these soap bases is I have melted them before and poured them into forms, is that it takes a while to melt them. I probably could shred it and make it go faster, but I don't know if that really, I'm sure that makes a difference, but I don't really have time to, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna stick them in and let them melt. One and two, and I think I'm gonna make three because I think that we might need three. And then I have some silicone molds that if I have any excess, I'll just pour it into them. You know what, what the heck, we'll just go big or go home, right? I got a fourth one. Let's go ahead and melt it down and I'll just fill up my molds. Boom. All right, now we let that melt down. Okay, gonna come in and just check it. There's still some lumps in there, so we're gonna let it continue to melt down. But it's starting to get there. Okay, so the soap has finished melting and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the mold. Let's see how I do, I'm gonna try not to make a mess. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna add some essential oils to it. I'm gonna do a rosemary lemon combination. I thought that would smell really, really nice. really good and mixed in there. So I don't know if it's just not enough weight. The mold is not straightening out like I expected it to. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and set this. Actually, I'm gonna put something on the bottom of this. So I wrapped it in saran wrap so that it wouldn't get stuck on, but this might help. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna let that harden. I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this to go ahead and pour into my soap molds that I have. So I actually have some loofah that we harvested out of the garden. I'm gonna actually pour down a little bit into the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and nestle the sliced loofah into the soap. And this acts as an excellent exfoliant whenever you're using the soap. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pour soap over top of it. I'm gonna try and coat as much as possible. So it's gonna be a little messy. You just set this right here. There we go. Oh. Silicone mold, molds tend to bow a little bit. So we got the soap in the molds and the form, and I'm gonna let these chill and solidify, and then we'll be back to get, to demold these and to remove this from the mold and cut it up and really test out the other part of the soap baking kit. Okay, so the soap has solidified now. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the mold. So the only thing that was kind of strange is it comes with this lid and I mean, I put some saran wrap on it to prevent it from sticking, but I don't think that it really did the purpose that it was meant to. As you can see, it's kind of funky. Maybe I was, this is probably my fault, but it's not quite like a smooth top, which I mean, it's fine. It's still soap. It's still soap, like it's not like an issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the mold. Let's get this out. So this is coming out nice and easily and we'll start peeling Ooh. comes off nicely <laughs> all right and now we've got our soap i wish i had things to add to it that would have been really cool but we're just going to make some simple soap bars so now we've got the cutter and i guess we'll just put it up against this wall and it's already got a pretty smooth start, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do, we'll just do the one 
All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Hold it nice and tight to the wall, line it up with the one, and, oh, that's awesome. That's satisfying. Okay, so far, oh, is it gonna be able to do it? Oh, it's struggling. It is struggling. So it's not quite going all the way through. Like the wire is not as tight as it needs to be. So that's very interesting. Okay, so as you can see, see how look, the wire is loose now? It did not stay tight. So I don't know if it's possible to shorten the wire, but this might be our first issue that we encounter with this. And that's a shame because it's actually a really cool system. This is actually a really cool setup. It can't be tightened anymore. So let's try swapping out the wires. All right, so see how this one, this one's as loose. So I'm wondering, um, does the wire stretch maybe? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down. Make it nice and tight again. Okay, so we got that good and tight again. Let's try this one more time. Try and see if we can at least cut this first slice. Does not want to get through to the very, very bottom. So we'll go ahead and just kind of rotate this just to finish it off. There we go. So as you can see, this is even starting to kind of loosen. Now, I don't know if there's a way to make it tighter, but it is not cutting through as effectively so unfortunately I don't know I'll have to reach out to the company and see what can be done about that because it's you can kind of see so you kind of see like the lines where it kind of cut it's not a very clean cut and it's not even cutting all the way through so another thing that also might no because I've got it on its side so I don't know why it's not cutting through all the way. We'll give it one more shot before I give up. But this might, yeah, see it's, it's not, it's struggling really, really bad. Unfortunately, the wire on the cutter is not cutting through the soap all the way. I don't know if that is because it is uh, goat's milk soap. Maybe goat's milk soap is thicker than like gel soap. Cause I know that there's different types of soap but for goat milk soap, this cutter is unfortunately not working. And the wire is, I don't know if the wire is stretching, but it's getting loose. It's tight until you go to cut through the first pass. It didn't even, it was not able to even cut through in the first pass, unfortunately. So, and then on top of that, you can kind of see, like I showed you guys, you see the, the grooves, like it, it, it's not even a clean cut. Like it gets, it gets, it's getting hung up. So, Sad and unfortunate. I was really excited about this, but I'm gonna reach out to the manufacturers, to the company, and they they had asked me some for some feedback and ways that they can improve it. And so far, everything was actually really great with this with this uh, kit. I think it was just the wire. The wire. I don't know if the wire is stretching or if the system that connects it. I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna reach out to them and see if they can correct that. And if they can, maybe we'll come back and make another part to this. But in the meantime, we at least do thankfully have our silicone molds. And let's go ahead and peel this. Oh, look at those. They got little bees on them and the loofah inside. So they're really, really great. So I will leave a link down below if you make gel soap and you want to try out this kit for yourself, I'll leave a link down below, as well as for the goat's milk soap that I get through Amazon and the silicone molds that I use that I have used before and they do work great. Leave a comment down below if you guys have anything that you would like me to try out and share with you guys. I'd be more than happy to, very interested in trying out all kinds of new things that can be used for the garden, cooking, homesteading, all that. Hopefully we can get this fixed. Hopefully I can reach out to them and they can kind of correct the issues that I'm seeing with this with this kit and improve upon it. Maybe they can maybe they can come back with a better with an improved model.